Hi guys, and welcome to my video. In this video, I want to give a basic understanding of what Roblox calls solid modeling. So you can see here under the model tab, we have these four tools under solid modeling, and that's where the magic happens. So right here, I have a sphere as well as a cube. And these are two separate parts. The sphere exists completely, so does the cube. It might appear that uh, part of it is missing, but it really doesn't. Um, Studio keeps in mind that those whole parts still exist, even though you can't see them completely. So the first thing I want to discuss is the union tool. Okay, so a union is a combination of multiple parts. Uh, you know, a part can be something as simple as a cube or something as simple as a sphere. But when you create a union, so for example, let me select the cube and the sphere here and create a union. Okay, what I've done is created a single part in a sense that actually combines the two. So when it comes to having lots of parts in your game, uh, this simplifies things. You can get like a hundred parts and create a union and all of those parts are just one little thing on your screen that you can work with very easy, right? So let's go ahead and, and use this. This is the fourth tool here in the solid modeling. Let's separate that union. Okay, there they are again. So just keep in mind, if you create a union, you do not need to fear because you can always separate the, the union. Now, keep in mind, there are key keyboard commands associated with each one of these tools. Okay, you can see right here, each one has a keyboard command. So this can end up being really fast once you learn how to use all the commands for various things in uh, Studio. But anyways, back to the back to the union. Okay, um, the union when it's created, it has its own set of properties, and and it is the combination of whatever parts are in the union. Now, one thing that's important to notice is when you create a union, the parts that you originally started with stay the way they were unless you select this under the properties it's use part color which is important to remember because many people create unions with the expectation that they can change the color of the union when in reality it's not possible unless well first unless the um, unless the separate parts are changed and then the union is created or after the union is created check this box use part color and look what happens all of it is under the deep orange color okay all the whole union changes color when you select this use part color the whole union uh, um, comports or behaves according to the one color right you turn that off and you get the original colors you started off with so that's very important to remember when working with unions that um, you can adjust the colors like that and uh, so let's move on to the next uh, tool here. This is a new tool. I have not seen this until recently. It's called Intersect. So um, what it does is you can see in this little image here, in this little, uh, you know, this visual gives you an idea. You have two parts, just like I do. We have a sphere. We have a cube. All right. And in between, we have a little part that intersects, the part that where the two um, parts meet. Is the intersection so um, if if um, say for example the the sphere is inside of the cube the part that you can't see is the intersection so if I hit that button just like magic everything disappears except for what is what was inside the, the parts that were touching right and as you can see the various faces have different colors you see that the the the, sh the uh, smooth or the flat sides that were what the cube was are the same color as the cube, which was red. The part that was associated with the sphere is that goldish color, right? Um, that's that's what you what you have to consider when creating intersections. But again, just like with the union, you can you can uh, fix that by selecting this use part color box and just like magic this new part is completely gold um, of course you can change the color as you see fit because you checked that box if you didn't check that box you'd have a very hard time working with this if you wanted it to be one solid color 
Uh, many people um, have a hard time working with unions and intersections because of this very thing. But uh, if you can remember to use uh, check this box, you can create um, really any uh, unique and wonderful part and have total control over it. Anyways, um, once again, once you have the uh, intersection, okay, you can work with it, duplicate it, call it whatever you want. Um, Roblox Studio identifies it as an intersection, and it will remember the details of what made up the intersection. So you can always go back in time and uh, revert to the, the the parts that you once had. So that's that's a really good thing for piecing apart unions and intersections to to um, see what they're made of or change them uh, fundamentally going back breaking it apart and then putting it back together as you see fit so that is a, a basic rundown of what unions are okay um, and what intersections are um, one last thing the the negate tool that uh, that we should talk about with this solid modeling is the negate or negative parts so if you consider mathematics, you, you have negative numbers. Well, with Roblox, you can have negative parts. So, for example, let's, let's make the cube negative, okay? Uh, right now, you can technically call it a positive cube um, because it has the properties. It's a normal object, but the instant you negate it, look what happens. It gets this uh, interesting red color. Uh, it's transparent, and it uh, it's that way to indicate that it's negative, meaning it it exists, but it has special properties. So look at what happens when I get this negative cube, and I union it, create a union with the positive sphere, okay? Just like how um, negative 1 plus 1 equals 0, negative cube plus positive uh, sphere equals... A sphere well empty space right so what we did is we removed the part that the negative cube was touching from the sphere we removed it from existence is as if part of that sphere never existed right now once again you'll notice that the inside uh, faces of the sphere where the cube was touching are red okay that's because the cube was red and once again, the magic here to fix that is to check this box, and every single face is now gold. So if you want to get a part, and you want to cut into it, right? Uh, a famous example that Roblox gives you is the bowl. You, you cut the sphere in half, right? And then you get a smaller sphere and, and cut out of that half, and you get a bowl using these negative parts. So. Let's, uh, once again, let's separate those. You'll see exactly what's happening. So you'll see that the cube, the negative cube, is doing all the magic. And, and that depending on what you're trying to create, you position those positive and negative parts the way you want them to be. Once you create that union, it, it um, joins it all together. It does the mathematics, and you end up with the end result, which is the union comprising of positive and negative parts. That's one of the most important um, uh, reasons or uses for a union, besides just simplifying things into one simple part to work with. All right, that just about sums up the video. Um, I, again, would love to see or hear about things you guys are doing, uh, the, the games you create, um, you're just having fun with it. Let me know, um, give comments. Um, go ahead and give this a like if you found this to be informative. And please, please, please subscribe if you have not yet. That will really help me out and help me to continue making videos and tutorials in the future and whatever kind of content I may decide to put out. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you next time, and have a nice day.